Morning, everyone. How are you doing today? So I felt like I had to create this video because we may be in the middle of this health event, um, but I pretty clearly see a K-shaped recovery in front of us. And really what I mean by a K-shaped recovery is, you know, the downside of the K is it's, it's hurt everyone. It's, everybody's been impacted by this uh, some way, somehow. But the important, important part of this recovery, and we will have a recovery, is the other side of the K. We're going to have winners and losers, have and have nots. And the beauty of a K-shaped recovery, as I see it, is you, you have a choice. You have a little bit of time right now where you can take action for yourself and your family. And oh, by the way, if you choose not to, that is a decision. You're going to be on the other side, right? You're going to be on the side that you really wish you were not on, right? Uh, the have nots, the ones that are impacted, the ones that are crushed. Uh, we're going to see lots of headlines about folks that are worse off after this event. But now is the time where you can kind of self select and, and you can decide to do some things. And I have five lessons or five pieces of advice. Uh, some that are very personal to me and some others that I just want to put out there uh, to be helpful. This entire channel, One Rental at a Time, is about helping individuals have a better financial future. I don't have to do this. I don't ask for anything. Uh, I even forget most time to ask you to subscribe and hit the like button. I am not a professional at this. But I've been watching the financial markets for decades. I have been through crises before. I have a documented history of being a pretty darn good real estate investor. Uh, equally so, I have a pretty darn terrible track record of stocks. Hence, I don't play in stocks. It's not for me. My mental makeup of rash and quick decisions doesn't do good in stocks, but given the timing in real estate, it's very helpful. So. Uh, again, lots of the advice I give is real estate oriented, but I pay attention to the market because that is my, that's my pulse. That's where I figure what's going on. So let's, let's get into this. There's just five things that I think we need to talk about. I did put it in a slide, so it could be something we could talk about. You can look at, you can hit pause, and you can really ask yourself some questions. So again, we are about to have a K-shaped recovery. And again, the K means we were all impacted up front, but where we are at is we're at that decision point. We're at that point of the K where some will win and some will lose. Some will have and some will have not. And I really believe most of us, 90% plus, can actually make decisions today that will benefit you and put you on the other side. Your life can be better. Your financial life can be better but you're gonna to have to make some choices. And again, doing nothing is a choice. So let's be clear there. So one, this recovery is going to be unfair, right? That will be the news headline of the day. It is going to help some and it is gonna hurt many. I strongly suggest that you maybe even stop this video now or watch it entirely and then come back and watch it again. You need to inventory your situation now. You're at that point of the K where it could go up or go down. So what, do you, what, what does that mean for you? Well, for some of you, that might mean adding some additional skills, right? You were impacted by the layoffs. Um, so this is your time with your $600 bonus in unemployment is to go pick up new skills. It's not to Netflix and chill. It's not to drink a lot. It's not to play video games. It is, I need to add more skills to my bag of tricks. I cannot continue to work this minimum wage job. I need to do something. Now, everybody's situation is different, but I promise you, if you learn more skills and become more valuable to work uh, to employers, that when you come out of this, you will be stronger. You won't make minimum wage, you'll do else. Others of you, maybe, you have, maybe you're maybe you still working, uh, but you need to cut your darn expenses, right? You need to increase that emergency fund. You need to have a rainy day fund, whatever you want to call it. Maybe you're, in, maybe you're still working and you're part of the 70% that are still working. 
and you have money in the stock market or you have money in cash, you need to freaking learn your market so you can make some wise investments and take advantage of what's coming. You have low interest rates today that will not be around in a couple of years. You can take advantage now and be profit from inflation later. All of you have a choice, whether you're still making six figures or you're unemployed. You are at the point of the K where you need to self-select. You need to ask yourself hard questions. This is on you. The government is not going to save you. You are not that important. You need to make decisions. And again, from the unemployed to the six-figure worker, you have choices. What are you going to do? Number two, stop chasing other people's dreams. This is a big one for me. As you know, I have been out of the workforce for more than a couple of years now. And every once in a while, people push me to say, why aren't you trying to make seven figures? Why don't you have big teams? Why don't you get employees? Why don't you go to multiple markets? Folks, I don't have a fancy lifestyle. I'm okay you know, going out to dinner and spending $20. I don't need the Bentley, the fancy watches, the private jet. That's not who I am. I don't want any of that stuff. And I am so glad I didn't fall for the trap of trying to go, you know what? I want to blow this up. I want to be the biggest and baddest flipper, wholesaler, landlord. I want a thousand units. I don't need any of that nonsense. Just understand what you're your meat, you know, what your expenses are, keep them low. And if your expenses are a hundred dollars and you make 105 every month, you win. That's where I'm at. Why would I want to add headcount, add buildings, add markets to add risk? Don't do it. Those are other people's dreams. And if you have those dreams, great, go for it. I'm not here to judge. It's just not for me. And you stop calling me small or weak or uh, whatever, because I don't want to be you. I'm not judging you. You don't judge me, right? So don't live for other people's dreams. Here's a big one. And this has become pretty obvious to me. Most people talk a good game about financial freedom. You know, I don't know. It's a sexy word. It's a good picture, you know, all of that. But most people, Y'all don't want to put in the work. You just don't, right? You're busy during the day. You work 40 hours. You're raising a family. You got, you got no energy left. It's okay. It's fine. Working 40 years uh, for someone else, that's, that's okay. And I can say this because I have taken the time and the investment to create a proven method. It's documented. You can read it in the book um, that worked. Uh, I've offered it up cheaply at $199. And I've even added value by giving you access in a private Facebook group and Saturday live streams with my students. I am investing in people who want to invest in themselves. And most of you don't want to do it. I, I can't help you. I can't help you. Uh, lots of people watch this. Tens of thousands of people have read my book, watch on YouTube, listen to my podcast, um, see my blog, see my website, see my hub building in Fresno. But most people won't spend $200 to see the exact process we have done for 20 years. Yes, it does. It's kind of boring. Once you figure it out, it is kind of boring. But you got to remember, I built this system as a full-time employee. I didn't have a lot of time. I just consistently did it for decades. And I'm giving it to you. And right now, I'm still doing Saturday live streams to answer questions. And we'll be doing another live stream in about 20 minutes. And again, this is sad. There's, there's a lot of people that could benefit from this, but they just don't want to do the work. I don't think it's the money. I think $199 is not the problem. I just don't think people want to do the work. And that's okay. Totally okay. If you don't want to do the work, don't buy it. Totally okay. I don't want you to buy it. But if you want to do the work and you want to do more than just talk about financial freedom, if you want to get to four single family homes and change your life, 
there's not a better way to do it than this course. Go look at the student interviews I've done. They've all raved about how it changed their business and their focus. Here's the deal. Financial freedom, having a better life is about earning. I'm not one person to sit here that says, quit your job, go be an entrepreneur. That's not for everybody. Frankly, it's not for most people. If it is for you, go for it. But it's not most people. For me, it was about busting my butt, working 68 hours a week for 10 years, 15 years, saving, right? Live below your means, cut your expenses, play good defense, and then invest in assets that produce income, right? Cash flow, positive cash flow. Don't bet on appreciation. If you're betting on wedge deals in California today, you could go bankrupt if you don't make a million dollars on YouTube, right? Be careful. Only buy conservatively financed passive income rental properties, positive cash flow, no alligators, no, appreci no appreciation bets. One rental at a time, this book on Amazon and Audible, it works. It may not be sexy. It may not be the Burr strategy or Airbnb or house hacking. So what? The single family home is about to have the best decade as an investment because people want out of apartments. The renter nation is increasing. I don't care what other gurus say. Getting four single family rentals will change your financial future. Your job is to figure out what a bad, average, good, and great deal is. That's it. That's all I teach. Lastly, learning your market now and being patient does not mean do nothing. I have been on record saying this is one of those inflection points. In the book, I wrote about two periods where we did no deals for six months. For most people, that period is right now. This is a messy market. Forbearance, unemployment, we are not sure what's going to happen. But some people hear me say that and they do nothing. That is freaking the wrong thing to do. This is the time to double down and learn your gosh darn market. Learn it. It's changing. Watch it. It has a pulse. It may feel like nothing is happening, but trust me, watch it for 60 days. It will change. You need to learn your market. Be patient and get ready to pounce. When the states open up, unemployment will go down. People will feel better. You will have really, really low interest rates, probably with a three or four on it. And if you don't take action to learn your market now, you won't be ready in six months and you're going to miss out. And I don't want to hear about it. Lastly, I want to thank you for watching. Wish you the best of luck. Stay healthy. This K-shaped recovery is real. And the beauty is you have a choice. You are at the midpoint of the K. Which way do you want to go? Go back, inventory yourself, where are you at? Do you got to add skills so you can make more income? Do you got to save? Or do you have a nice job with savings and you need to invest because this will be the best couple of years to buy single family homes? Again, one rental at a time works. If you want help, my course link below is how to get started one rental at a time. So again, I don't want to hear, right? The K-shaped recovery is going to be real. We were going to, it's going to be unfair. You're going to have winners and losers. But the beauty is we are at that point where everybody can decide. I do not believe in this whole plan, plan this, plan that. I believe it in individual choice. You have the ability to choose how you come out of this. So if you're interested, if you want my help, great. There's a link below. If not, just keep watching. I will be doing daily original content for you. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care of yourself. Bye.